A prominent Israeli rabbi has sparked an uproar by claiming that Israel is allowing itself to be flooded with gay culture and is, quote, becoming an LGBT stan. Rabbi Yoshua Shapira is the dean of the Ramat Gan Yeshiva, and he's now urging his followers to wage war against Israel's LGBT community to help maintain traditional family values. Joining us now to discuss this controversial story is Meir Azari, the rabbi of Beit Daniel Tel Aviv, and Rabbi Ronen Newworth, the chairman of the, the Ve'avta Tel Aviv Jewish Experience. I got that right. There, there we go. go. All right, my friend. So... Let's, I, I'd like to get your reactions to the comments from Rabbi Shapira. I'm tired from those type of uh, comments and reactions. I think that the many Israelis, especially in the secular community, are tired from the 15th century uh, type of remarks and the lack of love that we see from many rabbis. I think that Ronen, my friend, Rabbi Ronen, is, is in the same boat with me. He's tired. This is why he formed an organization called Ahafta Ahafta. This is why he was part of Bet Hillel, an organization that I think uh, put an aim to change a little bit this, this type of rabbinate. I think we deserve better yeah, well, rabbis well, in, this, in this century in the city of Tel Aviv, in, in the spirit of Israel. What is your response? Okay, so I want to um, say two things. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm an Orthodox rabbi. I do believe in the traditional uh, Jewish values of the family. However, and this is why I'm very troubled by the statement that uh, took place yesterday. Um, if we go back to our history, the Second Temple was destroyed not because of L the LGBT community and not because of any other sin, rather because of hatred because of Jews disrespecting each other. Uh, it is legitimate to hold a view uh, which might not be so popular, just as a view of uh, Rabbi Yusho Shapira. However, the question is how, you, how do you treat others? How do you respect others? You can, have, uh, you can disagree, but it has to be done in a different way. Uh, the, the, the way, the manner that the things were said yesterday, I think that was um, uh, a disgrace for, for Torah. Uh, for, for Judaism, that's not the way rabbis should speak. Uh, I, uh, well, well, I'd like to know what some are the differences in terms of how Orthodox Judaism versus Reform Judaism tackle the issue of LGBT rights. Because you, you, you're an Orthodox rabbi, yet you are condemning these statements, right? So my major issue with the statement to begin with is the way things were said in a way that is very disrespectful, that is uh, declining the rights of other people even to exist. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, by the way, that sometimes we see uh, the same method from, from, just from the other side, that whenever anyone can be a rabbi, can be a priest, or that is uh, trying to hold for the traditional uh, points of view is being bashed, even if he speaks in a respectful way. And well, I think that, 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 that's a problem that we have in our discourse. Our want, community yeah. respect the gay community. Our synagogues are open to the gay community. You'll see all over the world, the gay community, the LGBT community, part of our leadership, part of our rabbinate. We are open. Our face is... Uh, toward the 21st century, based on the Jewish history and the Jewish spirit. But we understand that time change, and um, we have to accept this type of life, this experience. And I just read um, a few months ago an old article by Rabbi Stephen Greenberg, by the way, an Orthodox rabbi that declared openly that he's gay. And he said that years ago, when he said to Rabbi El Yashiv, Alava Shalom, one of the leading rabbi of the Haredi community, mm -hmm. in, a, in a private meeting, I'm gay. He said, you know, you have love to two different type of people. You know, you are blessed. And be careful with this blessing. I, 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 I challenge rabbis, orthodox rabbis, to behave in the way that Rabbi El Yashiv, in this case, mm -hmm. talked to, to, to Rabbi Greenberg. Well, well, the question is, I mean... We, we're living in a, de in a democratic country here in Israel, but what, how much power you know, should religion have in the current state? And, and this is a comment that we're hearing from a very specific individual, but this is something that's felt a The much problem is this guy, this rabbi, is using my money, and, and the, the investment, the majority investment of the government is in this type of rabbis and not in the liberal arena. The state of Israel encouraged rabbi like Rabbi Shapira 
like Rabbi Eliyahu from Tzfat, like um, the Eli Mechina that you know, we heard so many things during the last uh, few months from the Mechina. This is the type of Judaism that the state of Israel encouraged, and this is a disaster. The state of Israel should be open to other type of comments. What, what is your take on that? So uh, I respectfully disagree, uh, meaning I have a tremendous issue uh, and tre tremendous problem with uh, things that were said yesterday and with other rabbis speaking this way. I do believe, however, there are m many rabbis and many of my colleagues that are speaking differently, that have different views. In my community, um, mm -hmm. I have lots of empathy. I'm accepting openly, uh, people are uh, openly gays. Uh, as equal members, uh, despite the fact that I cannot give and I will never not give any halakhic legi legitimate, uh, I will never legitimize that like, like uh, halakhically, but I'm, I accept them, I love them, I embrace them, they're part of my community. Right. And being in that, well, like on one hand, respecting the, uh, the values of Judaism that uh, were with us for many years, at the very same time being open to the uh, uh, different people and being empathetic, regardless if you agree with the way of life or not. I think that's that's our role as leaders, and not, right. not uh, being being respectful. And that's that, I think that that's a major problem. It's a cultural pro problem. That, by the way, we see it from the extreme right wing and extreme left wing. Uh, and well, unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap this conversation up, one which we could go on uh, go on for for a long time. But thank you both for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you.